<clears throat> What's up, your morning? We're going to go back to yet another reaction today. We are hopping into Smallville episode number 22, season number two, called Calling. Hopefully, it's a great episode. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. Of course, if you have, you like, you comment, you subscribe to the channel, you head over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reaction episodes like Shirley over there if you want them. If you don't, that's totally cool. You can get episodes here on YouTube whenever they show up. So, previous episode was a, uh, I would call it a creepy episode where we got to know a little bit, a little bit about Lana and her uh, her past and, you know, some things. And we got to see a ghost, kind of, and it was creepy. And turns out Lana accidentally got somebody killed with when she was little and, you know, sad and messed up. And Lionel had something to do with it. And Lexus was investigating. And it was a whole bunch of crazy shit that happened. And... Clark was involved, and of course, we still got the Chloe drama with Clark, and, you know, we'll see, we'll see where that goes, because I'm kind of on Chloe's side. Everything is Lana. Everything. So we'll see where that goes. Uh, so yeah, we're going to hop into this episode. All in. I don't know. Um, see what it's about. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh! What the crap was that? The day is coming. The day is coming. I wonder when this, if people are on. It's almost midnight. I wonder if people are on. Not on Chloe's side with the whole Lana thing. I wonder if some people are like. toast at Lex's rehearsal dinner. Makes European history seem like a breeze. Am I supposed to guess what's in the box? No. Open a cake. A cake. Don't. She's standing right here in front of me. Oh shit! This is one hundred percent a dream, though, right? Not a dream. Oh shit! Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Piss off Chloe some more. Maybe we just go with Pete. Chloe. Yes. The one named Pete's like, what just happened? Why'd I walk in? What did I walk in on? Okay, I'll meet you outside. Everybody okay? Clark, I think last night may have been a mistake. What the crap? Why? I thought we were I'm really busy. I'll call you. Why? I thought we were gonna actually do something with this. I'm like, man, this will they won't they shit is knowing. Here's a revised seating chart for the rehearsal dinner. Question is what? Like this. Oh, the the blood. You kept the blood, right? We should call the police. This is Lionel, right? Of course, it's got to be Lionel because it's Lionel, and he, you know, he's Lionel. Gosh, um, sorry to hear that, Helen. Of your life with that man and what you know about my family, you had better be right. Let me get this right. You still don't like Lex, but you said sure to sitting at his, I guess, table, at his wedding, in place I don't of his think parents. It's a good idea. What happened? The day is coming. We have powers? I'm mystified as you are. Come on, Kark. You gotta at least pretend like you were interested. You made it the whole big ass ordeal when you were looking at the caves. I have a doubt about her actual I don't think she's bad but she has no trust in Lex you don't trust your partner oh no Chloe no Chloe you gotta let it go I certainly do admire your work ethic Miss Sullivan let him to you uh, of course he would not 
I mean, depends on what his dream is. If his dream is Lana, then hell no. If his dream is anything else, probably. He'll save you for it. He'll save his friends over mostly everything. Just Lana that... Any change? Pays for the rehearsal dinner. Just curious. <laughs> Lex pay for this? Another. Damn. Dude, he, he hit the shit out of you. How do you explain this giant axe explosion next to your arm? That tank was kind of far, bro. Did not expect that. Where's the metal piece, bro? Grab that, hide it. He did it though, right? Why would you do it in that way though? That doesn't make any sense. I always find it weird when villains do this or when somebody does this. Like, why Why would you at all, why would you be looking at this right now? I had to pry it from his hand. Oh, damn, 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 oh, shit. And here is Chloe. Oh, shit. Dad. Okay. Well, that was episode number 22 of season number two. Uh, that was an all right episode. I don't know what I would give it, though. I kind of want to go with a seven. Hmm. Seven or eight. That's the range I'm in right now. Reason being... Uh, we progressed some things, but, you know, there was some point, there was some choices that made me just kind of question why. So, Lex's wedding being called off, just kind of was like the build up to that, to then prove that, I guess, I guess, the, I guess it wasn't pointless that one, because that's like to prove, that proves that Lex will always choose, I don't know what he'll always choose, he'll always choose his interests over the person he's with because he had somebody that probably truly loved him was going to marry him. And yet he did this whole thing to a, like to stage a robbery. My problem with that is that it felt weird. <laughs> like it didn't feel like a Lex move. Like it was sloppy uh, two days before his wedding. Like it was just weird. You know what I mean? It doesn't seem like a Lex move. Which is why when it was happening, I was like, that's that's odd. Lex doesn't seem like he would do that. That's reckless as hell. Um, the other thing. The other thing is the. The crazy dude. Whatever, Walden or whatever. I don't know. I guess he that helped feed Lionel's craziness. And I guess Lex is obsession but at the same time they woke him up so that he can try to kill Clark so that means that he's misinterpreting what the message says because we know what the message says because we are you know we know anybody that knows Superman lore and me I don't even know anything I don't know any Superman lore besides like a few movies I've seen occasionally cartoons but the lore that he's building I mean the lore that we know Clark is good. So the message that he got is weird. Because he was somewhat conquering. Um, and to, to the point where he was going to kill Clark. Uh, we had that with the confusion of of uh, Jonathan. <laughs> like Jonathan is a weird ass character sometimes. We'll be honored to be at your, at, at, like, be like your parents at your at your reception. Who you don't? Why would you be married to Lex? Like what the fuck? Like you're so weird, weird and random. Um, 
Anything else? I mean, the other thing is the main other main thing is, of course, the Chloe situation. Chloe, Lana, Clark. The will they, won't they? I actually was kind of annoyed by it, but the more I think about it, the more I actually like it because of the fact that it makes sense for Lana because she doesn't want to ruin the friendship. So that actually makes a lot of sense. When it comes to the Chloe stuff, Chloe was just, oh, she was holding out hope, man. She was just holding out for hope, hoping that Clark would pick her, even though he's clearly been picking Lana every time. But I've been on her side. Like, Clark. We've been friends. Chloe and Clark have been friends for a long time, right? Way more than Lana, I'm guessing. We've always known of Lana, but, like, Chloe was the homie. So the fact that everything kind of changed and everything Clark does now, oh, well, Lana this and Lana that, I 100% understand where, from Chloe's perspective, you'd be, like, so hurt. And I get it. You had, on the top of that, the fact that she likes him a lot. So, I don't know. It makes sense to me. Um... Yeah, let's see. Well, we'll kind of move on from there, kind of break down a little bit. That's why I'm in the 7 to 8 range. Um, I thought it was cool that at the beginning he went for it, you know? I thought that his whole birthday thing was solid, the way that he doesn't want, the reason he doesn't want to celebrate birthdays. Um, the kiss was really good, and then he's all got a pip in his step, and he's all happy, and then, of course, we get this thing here, and I had to make it all extra weird. I had to make it weird, all three of us. And then Pete comes up, and Pete's like, hey, what's happening? Um, we then find the whole thing to break in. So this this is the one thing that I'm just kind of like so confused by. This is not a Lex move, man. It's so sloppy. And then she blames Jonathan, and then this is when Jonathan, because this is when Jonathan does his whole oh the man that you're marrying spew, and I'm like what. Uh, we do the whole Lana thing. Lana confesses that she doesn't want the friendship to get ruined. Crazy this dude and the symbols. Clark is like the worst at lying. He's so bad. Like, he's looking at the symbols and then Lex, like he, his obsession with the caves, right? And then Lex is like, oh, I figured since your obsession, you know, we could solve this riddle together. And Clark's just like, oh, no, I'm good now. Like, what? What? You good now? Why? You've been obsessed with these shits forever. I just kind of find that weird. Um, he figures he knows what it is. He knows that Clark is a thing. This conversation with Lana leads to her investigating Lex, which then Lionel comes here. He, we just had like a like a Lionel slimy power hour here because it was like, oh, here's uh, him being creepy and slimy and an asshole and then here's him being creepy and slimy and an asshole again so you know then we talk about the symbols to the family or like what it or what it says a crazy dude walks in talks about being um about clark is the like an alien like essentially clark is going to destroy us all we have to kill him we have this moment here with these two. Chloe wants to go back to the way it was, but it can't. Go to the dinner party. Lionel being creepy, slimy, and an asshole again. Time to Chloe, but I think this is gonna. Draw, I think what happened at the end is gonna drive Chloe to this probably to actually take him up on the offer, which is gonna be weird. I guess we'll get to that in a minute. And the guy escapes. Clark gives a speech, gets a headache, has to go. There's a fight. Um, the dude kills himself. These two break up for some reason because she doesn't trust Lex, which just kind of goes to me, so showed me like nothing, nothing. I mean, the files were weird, but he did give a solid explanation. But she should have known from a long time ago that if she wanted to be with Lex, like this, what he did here. Based on what she knows, is there enough to call off a wedding? If she knows about this part, then yeah, because I, I know, I mean, Lex being all obsessed with this thing and ruining his marriage because of it, or his, everything about his future wedding. Uh, these two decide to f go with it. Chloe sees it and cries. So this is my thing, right? 
So Chloe's hurt. She's hurt. She's upset. So because she's hurt, she's upset. She's gonna line. She's gonna line up with Lionel. That's gonna be the story. I don't know about that. <laughs> that just doesn't. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Like unless there's got unless she, uh, there's got to be something else. Another maybe he offers her like an actual position at the daily. I don't know. Something's got to be there. And then he gets a calling from dad. So that's the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Picture for the full reaction. I'm gonna get out of here, and I'll talk to you guys later.